I take note of how differently I get treated depending on how I look. When I had a more gruff kind of appearance, where this was this beard was long and maybe even a little bit scraggly looking, people would treat me as if I'm homeless. When I'm dressed the way that I am now, and I'm a bit more cleaned up like I am now, I get treated very differently. There are many things that I've done with my appearance to test how differently I get treated by people. Appearance makes a big difference. Skin color shouldn't be one of those things, but unfortunately it is. And people can say, well, well, it shouldn't be that way, and, and I don't feel that way. Well, congratulations. Black people have gotten treated quite differently than white people do. Black people often get treated as if they're criminal just because of the color of their skin. This isn't something they can change. But this is why they, some people make up these charts saying, uh, you know, the lighter the skin, the better you get treated. Because in actuality, that's what happens. Okay, white people typically don't get Karens calling the police on them just for being in some area. You know? Someone isn't assumed to be a criminal. Oh, well, that's a black person in this area. Oh, they must not, they must not supposed to be there. There are, there are so many instances that are, that are on film. Well, on film, there, that are recorded that show that black people get treated this way over and over again. So many of them. And it doesn't matter, seem to matter how many instances there are of this. Some people just don't want to believe that this is how black people get treated. I mean, there's even, a, just over the past couple weeks, there's been, uh, there's, there's even black people trying to go to a gym. And someone wants to call the police on them because, well, this is a private gym. Well, they have access to it. They're part of the, the business groups that, are, that get to use that gym. Nope, they had the police called on them. Now, fortunately, that person uh, had their business let go of in the lease for reacting that way. People are finally starting to say, no, th- we've had enough of this. There's things that are getting done about it, thankfully. But it's taken a long time. And there's still, as I said, there's still people who try to claim that this isn't even going on. Okay, someone's skin color shouldn't change the way that they get treated. But it still does happen in this society. No matter how far we've come in many many ways, we've still got issues. These things still need to be addressed. And when there's this assumption by police that someone is criminal just because they have dark skin, yeah, that's a problem. This needs to be looked at. This is a systemic issue. You can't just say, oh, well, black people shouldn't feel that way. You know, you, you can't just tell some group that's, that's, that gets treated this way that they shouldn't feel that way. They know how they get treated. They experience it every time they go out. So, you know, don't be telling other groups how they should feel. Oh, you have this and this and this in this country. Therefore, you should feel this way. Well, you know, you can feel that way, but don't be telling other groups how they should feel. You don't experience their lives. Just saying.